Whatever needs to go, whatever is ended, let it end. Hello people, this is part two of the new moon in Leo because the full on very detailed, very powerful new moon reading is or might be a little bit longer. I don't know, but I think it might be a little longer, but there was a lot of guided, guided information from your spirit guides. There's a lot of information when it comes to the transits, when it comes to the, the planets, because it's going to affect us now, but also the rest of the year. So go take a look at that. It will be up before this one. But I am going to take cards in this one and just see, you know, what is important for you with this new moon. We already got like cards um, from this deck. I actually have them here. We have these two. This is an intuitive um, message that I got before that I found the card. So take a look at that. But let's see what else will come your way. We have two cards. You're not for everyone. Makes sense with the energy of this new moon. Embrace your weirdness, face your true north. And there is something about the south node. I feel like this is combined with the message that came up in the Leo new moon reading. With your karmic south node. What is happening when it comes to the karmic south node for you? And the next card you have is I remember. I remember who I am. Soul plan, the fates, life versus the destiny life. Wow, that is crazy. That is crazy, people. Because again, the karmic south node is all about your destiny. That's what I spoke about in the Leo reading. You're remembering what your destiny is. You're remembering where you're going. This is absolutely mind-blowing. I do feel with the remember, it's also you being guided towards a soulmate, a twin flame. Your life purpose, obviously. Whatever you need right now. Let's see what else we can get with the self-care card. What is the message for people? We have three. Clear your energy field. Yep, very important with this energy. Look for fairies, look for magic, look for what's around you. Connect with nature. Yeah, <laughs> connect with earth. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> well, there you go. Connect with earth, which makes sense. She does have a scarf. A scarf, is that what you call that? On, so again, is this energy of autumn. There has been a lot of signs when it comes to autumn. I do want to take some cards for people who are in a relationship or people who are, you know, waiting for long so let's see what is happening this is just going to be like a good old like mixed up reading but you are walking in your new direction yeah manifesting your twin flame soulmate calling in your soulmate your prayer affirmations and visualizations help you bring help bring you closer there's a lot of this energy here. Clear your energy field because the new is coming in. Codependency. Addictions are affecting your romantic life. Yeah. Soulmate. Addictions. Again, this can be mind clutter. It is affecting you a little bit. It is blocking you a little bit. So. Come on, baby. You can do it. We have a Libra and we have a Cancer. That's interesting. Maybe some of you guys are dealing with that. Maybe you guys are that. You have it in your chart. But it's also making a decision and going for it. Which is what's all about this... Uh, okay, let me try that again. Which is what this new moon is all about. Yeah. Receiving. You are receiving. You have worked very, very hard. Whatever you are receiving right now, you do also need to... This is so funny. You do also need to... 
give. There's, there needs to be a balance about receiving and and um, receiving and giving. We have Hierophant, the Hanged Man, and the Devil card, which is funny because I spoke about this with, um, especially with the Devil, with the Capricorn energy, with, you know, the Capricorn energy. What the hell was that? Sounded lying somewhere was tapping on something. Well, it's funny because what I wanted to say was that the, en the Capricorn energy, I spoke about this in the New Moon reading, is tapping on your window, in your car, on your car window while you're driving like an idiot and being like, so, right, you want to go in this direction, but did you think about this and this and this? Are you sure? These new guys dealing with a... Um, Capricorn or a uh, Taurus, but I actually also feel because we do have the combination with this uh, codependency, like addictions are affecting your life. Belief systems, old belief systems are affecting your love life. Something is holding back your soulmate, and it might be belief systems, it might be this like. Can I manifest something new or am I just being here? You are moving out of healing. It can be slow healing, which makes sense with the codependency for some. But I feel like um, a lot of you guys, you have done a lot of healing and you are actually in need of moving forward. Going out there, being seen. I just saw 717. The world needs to see you. You're going to feel very abundant. If you work on a new project, don't worry about money because it's going to come your way naturally. You do not have to worry about what's being given to you. Whatever you are manifesting right now, whatever you want to put out there, the universe will find a way how to reward you. But if you are limited with your um, mind, if you're like, well, that's not going to happen for me. That's not possible for me. Then the universe can give it to you. I allied shift your money mindset. This is just what I spoke about. Whoa! Heal your heart. The Leo new moon is connected with your heart, Siaga. Heal your heart. Receive. Let go. Yes. Schedule yourself in. Stay positive. This is all energies that's around this freaking new moon. Whew. I try to figure out if there's any other cards I can take. You are manifesting. You are manifesting. Is there anything else that you want people to know about? Anything else? Don't be in your mind. Moves of you guys are considering options, projects, work, relationships. <sighs> I don't know why I want to do this. Moving, moving country, city, state, whatever it is you're considering. You're weighing your options. And you're getting more and more confused about those options. Yeah. Make a decision because the wheel is in action. The wheel is turning. It's the universe is not stopping the wheel. Because you might be like, well, I'm going to stop until the wheel is having a little break. And then I'm going to make a decision. No. The sea is already on fire. <laughs> <laughs> the sea is already moving. <clears throat> the chaos is already happening. Now you need to make a decision. Yeah, some of you guys are walking away from something that's unfulfilling. Maybe that's why you're like walking around in a circle like, well, I can stay I, I can stay a little bit longer. I can see if this is going to work out. I can see if this situation is getting better. 
whatever it is for you addictions are holding you back belief systems are holding you back limited belief system what else do the people out there need to know my spirit guy said talk about talk about the cardinal signs again i talked about the cardinal signs in my new moon and this new moon energy that we are in is all about it's all it's in all cardinal signs right now cardinal signs is all about changes cardinal signs are a sign of a new season is when the weather is changing it's when everything is changing you know and that is what this new moon is all about change because i see that some of you guys are confused about where you are going there is miscommunication between you and people there's miscommunication with you and the universe because you're like i'm calling in my soulmate my dreams and desires but i'm not receiving anything listen to what you just said because you are actually stopping this from coming in because you're like i'm not receiving where is my stuff freedom there is nothing stopping you. The path is clear if you want to, which is also a sign or it's also something that's happening with this new moon, that the path is clear. Again, the wheel is not going to stop because the wheel is supposed to turn all the time, but you are, to, to, you are supposed to make a decision. Don't focus on past events. Don't backstab yourself all the time with being like, well, maybe I should just stay in my safe zone because the world is dangerous and people are breaking my heart, I'm not good enough, people are better than me. That's you. I mean, it might be you. It's not for everyone. But there might be someone sitting out there like, yeah, that is me. Might also be someone that you're dealing with. Someone that you're waiting for, someone who is not really good at freeing themselves because that they are in this like, I am safe in what I am in. So why should I move? Because this is my safe zone. I know this place. I know this feeling. I have been in this relationship for a long time and I don't know what's out there. This is comfortable. The universe is breaking comfortable. <laughs> it's smattering. It's breaking the glass house that we're sitting in. Like, get some fresh air, goddammit. Don't just sit inside the glass house looking out. Enjoy it, you know? <laughs> yeah. Again, more mind. Close the door. More mind games. More mind. Con more conflicts maybe some of you guys are even deciding to walk away from someone who is just causing you conflicts over conflicts pain suffering like you don't want that anymore you just you're like screw it screw this settlement screw this project i mean whatever is stopping you and sometimes the universe does have the tendency to bring in chaos if you need to move so if you feel like you are, you know, in conflict state, whatever, whatever that is, try to listen to the Capricorn energy. When the Capricorn energy is asking you, where are you going? Does this make sense for you? Are you going in the right direction? Are you following your heart? Again, might be someone else. Wow, people. Damn. Again, the universe is trying to give you a new start and something. It can also be someone else that you're dealing with. This is what you want. This is a new beginning. This is a new beginning in love. This is a celebration. This is achieving, achieving your goals. 
And with that, it's a lot of passion, it's a lot of abundance coming into your life. I will give you the last card, and then I think this is it. What is coming into your life? Wow. Twin flame. Your passion ignites. Definitely, your passion ignites. Whoever that is, or whatever this is for you. I think this is going to be everything, people. Go out there and make a decision. The wheel is not stopping, it's never stopping. So you have to make a decision no matter what. Before that you get burned out or before that you get seasick. You can't stand juggling those two options all the time. No one is going to stop you and be like, I'm going to choose this for you. You need to make this decision. But thank you guys so much. If you are in need of a private reading, healing session or removal of blocks, all information is down below. I will see you guys in my next video. Bye. So I just realized after that this candle died. And as you guys know, when a candle is dying, when it blows out, it is because of something is ending. So again, for you guys, it's a relationship that's ending. It's a person that you're dealing with, relationship that's ending, whatever. It can also be job, whatever. So I just wanted to put that in because I just realized that. I don't know if you can see it in the reading, but whatever needs to go, whatever is ended, let it end. Bye.